This Japan series is made possible with the support of BuyFood.com. Hey, this is my favorite part. So he closes it. He bless, 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 bless. Today, our cross-country Japanese food tour continues. Shirasu. Shirasu! As we move from Fukushima to the Kanagawa Prefecture in search of Japan's strangest food island. Welcome back to our Japan series. We are a long way from Tokyo and we've got a surprise for you that you won't find in any of our competitors' channels, I'll tell you that. Definitely not. This is Enoshima, host of the 2020 Summer Olympic Sailing Competition and famous for its Enoshima Shrine. But if you know our show, you know that's not why we're here. Go build a better gym. From this to this, how did that happen? This unique island also boasts some of the most unusual food you'll find in Japan. Okay. Oh, God. And one local secret ingredient seems to find its way into almost every dish. It's so creepy. It looks like a fossil. Today, Shizzy and I are hitting the docks. Hello, sir. Konnichiwa. Sneaking our cameras into the fish factories. What am I eating? <laughs> and sweet talking our way into the kitchen. I don't like gross little things. All to attempt to get some answers to the question. Whoa. With gold. What happened to the island of Enoshima? Right now we're at the dock, pier, what do you call it? Boat area. Yeah. The pier. piece of concrete that has many boats on it. In the southern part of Kamakura City, along the coast sits Koshigo Fishing Port, one of the biggest Shirasu suppliers in the area. Right now we are awaiting the arrival of a local fisherman who has a Shirasu blog? Yes, he does. Every day he's updating how many Shirasus he caught. Shirasu in English is called white bait. They're little tiny white fish. We're eating the bait? That's right. White bait. It's a term for immature fishes that are so small, their only purpose is to swim around and get eaten by bigger, cooler fish. Hmm. White baits are tender and edible. In Japan, these baby sardines are a delicacy. Our ship has arrived. Hello, sir. Hello, konnichiwa. Very excited. Back <laughs> from sea, you can see the enthusiasm in their eyes. They're, oh, and they're going past us. It looks like they had an amazing catch. All these huge coolers completely full of shirasu. This is much more than I expected. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oishi. These baby sardines are called shirasu. Processed shirasu appear in many Japanese delicacies, especially across the bay on the island of Enoshima. You guys need help? Nice. Help it uh, out. That's no big deal. It's used in snacks, as a topping, main ingredient, or this. Today's shirasu catch is transported immediately in these coolers to keep them fresh. From here, they take a short ride to a nearby factory for processing. The processing of the shirasu is underway, but are some people eating this raw? They do. Actually, Enoshima is one of the places where you can eat them raw. Normally, you would eat them over a bowl of rice. Oh, you don't think it's normal just to hold no. 20 pounds of fish in your hand no. and eat it raw? No. Okay. Oh, come on. You didn't do grasshopper. You have to do this. Uh, can I eat it if I don't look at it? Yeah, I could drop it in your mouth. Oh, God. I don't like gross little things. Okay, oh, oh. holding it, I'm holding it. Let's try it out. The raw shirasu. Okay. Like, it's a little crunchy. A little salty. And a little like anchovies, but it doesn't have any super strong flavor. No, it doesn't. All. It's not bad. Oh, you're holding it together pretty well now. I did it. I'm on some next thing. You cannot touch me. It's for the best. You just learn to love me. The fish are gathered and washed. Huge baskets are boiled for five minutes. Too long and the fish fall apart. Do you know why they choose to process it in this way? Is it to preserve it? They usually ship it all across Tokyo. So in order to do that, they usually need to be boiled. After boiling, the fish are placed on a dry net, spread out evenly and left under the sun for 30 minutes. Oh, hey, thank you. That's, that's a lot. No, that's the exact portion I wanted. That's good. <laughs> Okay, they've become sticky. It helps. It helps. Let's go for it. Here you go. Oh, Whoa. better. 
Much better. They're not as slimy anymore. Not as slimy and not as much like oceanic flavor. It tastes good. From here, they're gonna package it up. Many of these go to Tokyo, but a lot of them end up at Sardine Island, which is where we're going next. That's not what it's actually called. That's what I've called it. Welcome to Enoshima Island. I call it Shirasu Heaven, and I came ready to eat. Asahi Hanten is the only place on the island that sells Shirasu crackers, with their exclusive recipe made by Mr. Mitsuru Yone. Sir. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hello. They've been operating for 16 years, hugely popular. For those who want to see how an entire octopus can become a cracker in seconds, it's seriously mind-boggling stuff. It doesn't seem feasible. Right now he's working on it. He's putting some oil on this super hot flat top. So he's got an octopus and he's dipped it in potato starch. That's it. This is my favorite part. So he closes it. He bless, 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 bless. Are they dying? Octopus scream. Yeah. Oh. Open, open already. Open. And would you look at that? Three separate octopuses turned into one cracker. How like, is that even legal? Like a paper. All right, let's go for it. Smash papery octopus. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy. A little salty, seafoody, but the texture is what I'm more amazed by. It's legit cracker. I thought there'd be some parts that were inconsistent, some parts chewy, some parts soft, and it looks kind of beautiful at the same time. I heard they have two more kinds here. They make one with shrimp and they make one with shirasu. That's why we're here. We're gonna try those next. With almost the same technique and ingredients, they take a shrimp, sit it on a bed of batter, press it for one minute, and it's done. It was kind of normal sized and then they just crushed it. They flattened it's literally like paper thin. That's amazing. The shirasu cooks up a little differently. First, it's blue like the ocean, and the fish are multicolored, also like the ocean. Press it in the Cracker Maker 3000 and Bazunga. A child's kindergarten art is revealed, and you can eat it too. Oh, that's pretty good, it's fishy. And the texture yeah. is super unique. It tastes like you're eating styrofoam. Oh yeah, it's like a little bit of a foamy fish cracker. It still looks crispy. Oh, <laughs> it's a little thicker, a little tougher there. Do you want a head or a butt? Of the butt. Oh. That one's a little more crispy. Oh. Yeah, don't break your teeth. Broke it. This is like where the life force of the shrimp ended, was right here. You're right. But it gives it a really strong shrimpy taste. Yeah, that is mm -hmm. shrimpy. Shrimpy. Hmm. Enoshima is just a day trip from Tokyo. These days, it's packed, and the Shirasu boom can be thanked for luring in curious tourists. Hello. Oh. <laughs> According to the manager, this restaurant started the Shirasu trend over a decade ago. Here at Tobik Cho, the Shirasu even makes its way into your booth. Well, interestingly enough, this shop actually may have been the start of Shirasu ice cream as well. My main question is, why is there fish in the ice cream? Can you explain that real quick? <laughs> Today's menu, Sanshuru no Shirasu Dan a rice bowl with three different types of shirasu. It starts innocent enough with a bowl of rice. Add some veggies, mayonnaise, sesame seeds, and dry seaweed. Then boiled sardines, soy sauce sardines, and raw sardines. It's finally topped with minced yellow ginger, minced radish, and minced spicy radish. Along with our main dish, shirasu maki sushi and shirasu croquette. It is shirasu heaven in here. If you were a fish that eats bait fish, you would love this restaurant. Or if you were a bird or something. I think we should work our way around the table. First of all, this seems like an appetizer if I've ever seen one. I want to go for half of it. Here we go. Mm -mm. Mm. It's good. I like it. That's food. It wouldn't be my usual choice for this style of a sushi, but man, that is... It's full of fish. Oh, here's sake. So before you came in here, I put the sake, a dried fish chip Whoa. with gold. You're right, there's little gold flakes in it. It's opulent. Well, cheers. Mm. Next, I want to bust this open and I'm hoping a bunch of fish come swimming out. <gasps> Bamboo charcoal. Where are the fish, man? I came here for the fish. Oh, there they are. They've been kind of minced and mashed a bit. I like that. No gustatory evidence of fish. I love it. 
What we have here is the classic sirashu rice bowl with three different types of sirashu. Shirasu. Mm. On the side, they have a cooked egg or a raw egg. We can use either one. Add a little bit of soy sauce to it. You gotta mix the yolk first with the soy sauce. And then pour it over. Ooh. Oh, wow. It's so thick and... Yolky. Did you go to the same food reviewing school as me? I'm gonna try this one, because this is the only kind of shirasu I haven't tried 80 times today. Okay. It's one in soy sauce. It's raw. It's, oh, so it is raw also. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's really nice. I feel like I've come a long way from the beginning of this video. Okay. Oh, oh. Holding it, I'm holding it. I never thought I would be able to eat raw shirasu, honestly. Because the appearance of foods takes me out of it quite a bit. But I mean, once you can get past that. Anything you set your mind to, you can add fish to. <laughs> Do you want to have a good time tonight? I want to have a good time tonight. You know we're going to have a good time tonight. I said we're going to have a good time tonight. Let's go. Shirasu. Shirasu. Believe it or not, this is the only Shirasu burger shop on this island, Shonan Burger. First, they toast the buns. Then the Shirasu cake is fried and dipped in a bowl of soy sauce. Add some wasabi, lettuce, Shirasu cake, a pile of boiled Shirasu, and lube it up with some mayo. Here's step one for me. I'm gonna put his little hat on. Put the hat on. My favorite part is I thought they'd put like 10 fish, but look how many fucking fish are in there. <laughs> I don't even taste them. You wouldn't know that there was a shirasu fish in here unless someone told you. I kind of feel them, like they're small and meaty, but that's kind of it. Nice, dense fish patty in there. Just a pile of shirasu. This is one shirasu dish that I think I could actually get on board with. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. Shirasu, they may be tiny, but these little fish have had a huge impact on Japan's most unique food island. If you're traveling to Japan, let me recommend booking an experience through buyfood.com. Now offering over 250 experiences throughout the country. You can find food tours, cooking classes, tastings, and more. And for each booking made, buyfood.com contributes funds to children in need through their Food for Happiness project. Kebabs in Iran, mm. banh mi in Vietnam, I love it. Budan sausage in the US. I like that a lot. There's one thing that connects us all. It brings out the best in us. <laughs> Showing that despite our differences, you want to test the blood? What? Huh? At the end of the day, we're all people. <laughs> Sometimes very hungry people. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So this is an ode to the part of life that unifies us all, food. And be sure to check out our second channel, More Best Ever Food Review Show, for raw clips and deleted scenes that didn't make it into the show. Shizzy, thank you so much for teaching me about these small fish and all the fun things you can do with these small fish. My pleasure. You did a great job. You were afraid. You overcame your fear. And then look at you now. You love it. Now I love it. Yay. Guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. A oh, peace. peace. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>